What is up? I'm Moana Tortuga and today we have another Pokemon opening. We are cracking up another one of these Reshizar boxes. Still an awesome product and we got some additional Unified Minds packs. And uh, yeah, Hidden Fates is right around the corner. Uh, but we still have a little bit of time to focus on this new collection box and Unified Minds before things go absolutely crazy with that new set. And uh, yeah, pretty pretty outspoken about it, but uh, Hidden Fates is going to be huge. And if I have time, I'm going to try to do a video for, uh, later this evening to kind of talk about the already like the price influx of different things uh, during this calm before the storm, if you will. And I don't think this is unusual. Uh, I think that, as always, let me just switch this here real quick. And um, you know, there's typically some price inflation right before release and uh, here's that awesome awesome figure of both the Rushy, Rushy Ramp and Charizard but uh, take a look at what things are kind of like at as far as pre-orders right now maybe even some singles as well for some of the more sought after cards and our current Tortuga account is still four so and no reverse that would be absolutely insane if we could pull one and here is the awesome promo, Reshizard himself. Stop the side. And all right, we got eight packs total. We're gonna go as always, Rolling Skies to Unbroken Bonds, then to Unified Minds. And uh, yeah, let's crack into this first pack. And as always, guys, if you do enjoy the content, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. It does help the channel continue to grow. And uh, yeah, if you're not already a sub, definitely hit that sub button as well. We're getting to our first pack of Roaring Skies. We got an Altaria, a Fletchender, Unpheasant, Execute. Execute does have some pretty good arts. Togepi, Fletchling, a Shuppet, a Swablu. Our reverse is another Swablu. And oh my. We pulled two Swablus and two Altarias in a single pack and a couple other birds. Yeah, I guess this is Roaring Skies indeed. So nothing too crazy there, just a bunch of colorless birds. But uh, let's get into our Unbroken Bonds pack. And uh, if you haven't seen er the video we released earlier, uh, it's pretty interesting. Where in PTCG I'm still running that Reshizard deck because I can't don't have enough cards for anything else, but uh, been facing some really tough matchups lately. One thing I will say is that the meta right now is very exciting. I wonder if it mostly has to do with the um, Guzma rotating out where people are prepping because now there's all these different strategies that at this point it's kind of like, oh, who can set up and do their thing first? And then they will just take it just because there's as less disruption to, even though there is things like uh, reset stamp but uh, primarily that's it you know no no way to you know or you have to get two of the custom catchers to make it work which I think is fine uh, so it's just really exciting time and so many different strategies and that are like focused on very much countering certain decks where like when I face the anti Reshizar decks like oh my gosh they absolutely destroy me uh, so if you haven't seen that video definitely go check it out if you're interested in some PTCGO stuff we got a Tornadus Swadloon, Fletchender, Stunfisk, Onyx, Finian, Alolan Grimer, a Tag Switch, and then a Drifloom. Hmm, this is kind of a cold opening, but it's okay. We're going to keep rambling on about Hidden Fates. So, like, I was considering getting a couple more things for pre-order, just because, like, I don't know, it's going to be absolutely insane and I don't want to be unprepared and spend extra money than necessary. Uh, so let's take a look and like Game Nerds is sold out, people recommended Dave and Adam sold out. And then, you know, at that point I was just looking at eBay. I guess I, I should still take out, like, check out like TCG Player. I do want to check if the, the singles, what those prices are at. I think I saw like Cynthia, I think it was like a something crazy like 90. So I'm pretty sure that buying things, pre-order singles is not the way to go. But once, like, soon after release, then the prices will kind of like, kind of like a race to the bottom kind of thing. But, uh, alright, we're still looking for our first hit. We got Electric, and then a Necrozma. I think, I think Necrozma comes in the, 
the theme deck as well. Alright, so that box did not yield anything. At this point, we're into our bonus packs. And uh, still looking for our first hit. This is pretty cold. And uh, we still got like another week before before we can uh, go crazy over Hidden Fate. So we still, we're still going to still need some good uh, Unified Minds hits. Even though the pull rates have been quite good. Just not in this opening. Pikachu. Pidov. A Poiple. Nummel. Axu. Our reverse is a Celebi. I have not been seeing Celebi. I think there's just not a lot enough evolution going on. But I feel like this would be a good card if a deck becomes really prominent that does use evolution. And oh my gosh, another Drift Blim. Is that card good? I don't think it's good, but if it was, that would work out nicely. And my hair's all messed up. But uh, I feel I, I feel like that's super rare where all these sites, or at least sites that I go to frequent, that you cannot pre-order something. That's really crazy. I, I'm not sure if that has any real reflection on print runs or anything like that. It's just that those um, retailers at least sold out of the ones that they're doing for pre-sale. But yeah, definitely something I haven't seen before. But yeah, Poke Maniac for a reverse, and then a Salazzle. This card, like, what is the point of this card? Just two fire, and then for 70, for 100 HP? That, that feels very, uh, phoned in, if you know what I mean. Like, uh, we need this set to be huge so we can sell more cards, so just make some super vanilla monsters. You know, that, that thing has to evolve, too, for two fire energy. Alright. Psychic, Azelf. We got a Dedene. I think the Dene is still a really good card. Lumi Luminian, Pikachu, Pidov, Poiple, a Nummel, Axu, another Dedene, and then we have. All right, at least we got a foil. Slaking with counterattack, the dynamic swing. Okay, it's not bad. Don't think it's good enough, but not bad. All right, we got into our last pack. This has been a ice cold opening as uh, Unified Minds kind of shifts down in prep for Hidden Fates. Everyone's going nuts. All right, let's get at least one hit for this opening so I can kind of uh, keep my sanity. We got Yan Mega, Jinx, Dragonair, Execute, a Lowland Grimer. It's kind of like pointing. Hoot Hoot, a Carablast, a Hone Edge, a Cosmog, and then a Leaveny. Ooh. Actually, this card's um pretty good. I think it was against a Alolan Executor um, Rowlet deck, and oh my gosh, this was... Man, we got no GXs, no Tortugas. Let me just double check on that last part, though. I'm like 100% 99% sure I would have noticed, but uh, yeah, that was that was uh, terrible. All we have to show for our effort is this Reshizard, which is a pretty good consolation prize, uh, but no additional Tortugas for today. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for a video later today uh, where I'm going to talk about the state of Hidden Fates prices and stuff like that as... You know, I feel like this is just the calm before the storm, so definitely be sure to check that out. On that, guys, that's all we have for today. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Juan Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.